Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Previously I've been talking about uh, getting live TV from the internet. So, um, the one I recommended, or the one I was viewing most, was Free TV with uh, three E's. And basically I was just watching, I shoot BBC World I think. Uh, um, so I was just looking just now, thinking, um, I went on one of the channels, I was on BBC News 24. And I was thinking to myself, uh, you probably you won't see the video, but I was thinking to myself, I don't really want to have to keep watching it in this box. Is there any way I can get it into, say, one of my media players? And then I thought, yeah, of course there is. And there's a program that you can get. Now, you won't see, but it's now actually playing video. I don't know if I can turn this up so you can hear it. Are you convinced now that you will die? So that is uh, actually streaming live video there. And it's uh, the the time it says on it is 1946, and it's 1946 here, so it's proper streaming live TV. Um, it's free TV with three E's. You might want to check it out yourself just to make sure this thing's live. BBC News 24 here, uh, just to test. So anyway, um, what I want to do is I'm going to actually go back a page a second, and um, there is something called URL Snooper. Now what this does is basically it retrieves hidden URLs and pages. Uh, that usually have live streaming music or video. Now don't go thinking you can get these uh, things from like MySpace and uh, YouTube. They go about things in a different way. You have to get uh, something like uh, Tube Hunter or something like that to get that. But with uh, this is talking about things like me Windows Media Player live streams and stuff like that. So the one you just saw was the media Windows Media Player live stream. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click Sniff Network. It will also install um, WinPCAP on your PC. Um, that's a packet capturing program. Basically, it um, monitors your network traffic that, you, that, you, that comes in, so you can then find this URL from it. So, um, what we're not going to manually scan the URL. Um, you need to make sure you're in advanced mode, by the way, for this. And um, we're just going to uh, start the channel. And when it's um, loaded, you'll see. So, I'm now going to click onto BBC News 24 again and the video is going to come up but you'll notice that in here we've now got some things where it says um, over here it says uh, get windows media file relative windows media mms stream and get reflector stream relative so um, all we want is this windows media mms stream now i'm going to close the box because i've now got the I've now got the uh, address I need, which is this middle one, which is Windows Media MMS Stream. So I'm then going to copy this um, URL, and I have a program called Window. No, I don't have one called um, VLC Media Player, which is which I've actually put in the video category, but you can you can have it for TV, obviously. Um, so anyway, um, you just go to File, and then Open Network Stream, and then I'm going to click HTTP. Now I think this will work in Winamp as well, and maybe uh, Windows Media Player and iTunes or whatever. You just got to make sure you can open the URL, and then all you need to do is paste the URL that you found with the live streaming over here. So I'm then going to click OK. Uh, what you can also do is click the Stream and Save button, where you can uh, I think you can click this, get Settings, and then you can save it to a file, and um, you can have it in like MP4. Um, Avi, uh, MPEG, OGG, WAV, all that stuff, and then you can select all the stuff. But I'm not going to go into that. That that's probably recording from live TV. But uh, for the time being, we're just going to enter the uh, the URL and just press OK. So it's now loading the URL, and eventually it should come up with my TV and start playing it. Hopefully. So this means that um, there we go. Working lunch and. You won't see this again. But I've now got this live video. Live TV. In my VLC media player. So, um, all you need to do, uh, I mean, you can uh, you can save this uh, as a uh, in a text file or make it a URL or something and open it with um, VLC. And uh, you can start making like a list of channels you want. So I'm going to say BBC News. 24. You can have like a long list of channels, and then whenever you want to use them, you just copy the, the uh, link in, and then put it into um, VLC, and then you can watch live um, live TV on your desktop without having to go to any websites because you've got all the stream links here. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's watching live TV on your desktop. Uh, just need you just need URL Snooper to get the live streaming from a web page, 
and uh, VLC to uh, open it or whatever um, thing that will support opening URLs. So uh, thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.